making their fourth straight trip to the regionals. And our first pitch from College Park is in there for a strike. Fastball just missed and a rare walk by Austin Peterson who only walked 17 batters during the season. And he walked him two walks in the first inning for Austin Peterson. He shoots this one into right field as Hawk takes a big turn around third and he scampers in with the first run of the College Park Regional. Wake Forest is on the board. This is an outstanding job of hitting there by Nick Kurtz. He was a leadoff batter. They moved him down into the middle of the lineup because, as you mentioned, we... questionable. That one is not questionable. Cuts the heart of the plate. Called strike three. At one point in the season, led the team in RBIs. Has some swing and miss, as we see right there, for the first strikeout of the inning. Brewers opted to take that, even though I still had football eligibility left. There's another strikeout backwards K with that same fastball. Come back and play football in the fall. And he strikes oh, out the oh, side. Yes. Austin Peterson oh, showing why he's the second team All-American. Of course I did. I felt like I was on top of the world. Bushling. Past the diving right fielder and Bushling should have an extra base opportunity as he's in there with a double. Good attempt by the right fielder. He shoots this one to left. Bushling sent around third by Penders with the throw home. Not in time. Throw down a second by Tinsman. Not in time there. UConn has tied it up. RBI double for David Smith. We talked about close games where this team doesn't freak out. They don't get outside well, themselves. Fielder, Guys Aaron come through stop. in the clutch. And as I mentioned, upon contact, this ball is basically a one hopper to the left fielder, Ciceri. You see good balance swing there. Watch. Ball gets to him really quick. Two, just about three hops. Should have been an easier throw and maybe a closer play at home plate. Medium depth left field. Stock to third and Brock Wilkin. The strike over to Kurtz for the out. That will do it for the Huskies. Batters get more comfortable. Start relaxing in the box. We might see some, some balls put over the wall. Brock Wilton, first pitch hunting. Wilkin, the third baseman, is on base for the first time. He struck out his first at bat. Next inning. Now he's in a hitter's count. And he walked him. He was nibbling. A rare nibble by Peterson. And that one into left field. Wilkin the turn around third. He's headed for home for the second run of the game. Jake Reines delivers the RBI. And Wake Forest leads. Out production. The key to success. But watch the secondary lead at second base with Wilkin. Such an aggressive lead. That opens the door for there really to be no play or throw at home plate. Corona to his counterpart, second David Smith for the out. Runner left in scoring position. You know, we're trying to grind at bats, get something we're looking for in a big situation. And uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, two big two out walks really led to both those runs, really got those guys into scoring position, led to both those runs. It's up just a bit. Padilla gives it a ride to deep center field, and this one is gone. Brian Padilla. A two-run home run, and UConn leads 3-2. to two. Rat Louder flummoxed by the power display. And he's been so effective with that fastball when he's kept it down. This one gets elevated just a bit, and Padilla makes him pay. His eighth home run on the season, a two-run bomb, gives the Huskies the lead. And as you saw, we saw in the scouting report, when we talked with the head coach, Jim Penders, he said, Padilla has quick hands on the inside part of the plate.
back from home plate from the big football player with the bat in his hand. That's easy. I think most of them would say I'm trying. And that's dumped in there down the line by Casey Dana's second hit of the game. Big turn by Stock puts the brakes on. He's back at third. Uh oh, that gets by Tinsman. And here comes Stock to score the fourth run of the game for UConn. Potter is unraveling. And keep that ball in front of him. But when you're down in the zone, that's what happens. That one's in there for a base hit. Another run across as UConn. The hit parade in the fifth inning. Ben Huber in RBI. Scoring Casey Dana. It's the 65th time this season. UConn has an inning of three runs or more. Well, two consecutive hits out to the outfield. Take advantage of the miscues by Louder. The early walk. Yeah. Seven shutdown innings. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that will end it. Broken. Well, of, of course, during BP, you were going yard every two seconds. <laughs> this one's hit deep by Stock. Bennett looks up, knocks him on the head. Stock rounding second, headed for third, and he is held there by Jim Penders. And Bennett had trouble tracking it in center field and almost went out of the yard. Ripped to left. Looking up. My oh my, UConn with another two run home run. Casey Dana take the slow walk around the bases and the Huskies have broken it open. 12th homer of the year for Dana. We, we talked about Louder on the mound and how much more he had left in his tank. You have to kind of feel when you're seeing teams at the top of the lineup, again, fourth time through the order, fourth time seeing the stuff of Louder. Two big strikes, one off of the batter's eye in center field, the other pounded off of the shell. Indoor facility over there in left field. That's how small the park plays. That shell we'll talk about during the Maryland game. That is their indoor facility. So you see one of nine squads that made the tournament. And Costello, a pinch hitter, hits it deep to left, and it is gone. He's off the bench, and he has hit a home run. Fourth home run of the season. After Reinish lined out. Costello pinch hits for Danny Corona. Makes it memorable. It's a four-run lead for UConn. How about that for that young man being able to step in cold in a regional game. Down by five runs. And just nice, easy, smooth swing. Electric off his bat. Put the charge into it for the solo home run. Going within four. Gained its composure, got out of the clubhouse. And Hawk, the igniter at the top of the order, beats it out with an infield single. After hearing that for years, you're telling me that doesn't exist? That one's up the middle, backhanded by Smith. And the first for the out. What a double play. Oh, David Smith, hang a star on that one. Very effective. Dumped in there for a base hit. So Turconi's on with his first hit. At on the team. And quick there past the dive of Huber. Into right. Turconi sliding in safely. The throw from right. Not in time. And Tinsman. Yeah, you can celebrate. Murray's at second and third. No outs. Few grand slams in his career. Get over his head, get over. Backing up, long throw from third, plates the run on the fielder's choice. 
Nicely done by Bushling. Rips it up the middle for a base hit. Runner, Tinsman around third, boxed around in center, and Wake Forest is in business. 74 RBI for Brock Logan. And it's a two-run deficit. He's a this supreme is, run producer for a reason. Well, this is when you know a guy has dialed in. This is a situation where Wilkins could be swinging for the fences, and you see a nice, relaxed, smooth, level swing. Flat path. Poked down the center field. Pretty well hit by Ciceri. Deep and goodbye. New ball game in College Park. That was special. Never say die mentality. Three, two count. Talk about putting a charge into it and knowing it. As soon as his left was back, he knew that ball is almost parked over the second fence out there in right center field as he points to his family and friends. And this game is tied up. Turned over for the Huskies. One, two, three, two up. Bobbled. And safe at first. Good hustle by Smith. Pointed all four teams, dangerous. He's going. He is, but he walked him anyway. We got to do everything possible to not let that happen. Huber muscles it to center. Diving attempt by Costello. Can't come up with it. Runner around third. Smith scoring the lead run. And UConn <laughs> takes the lead again. Huber terrific at bat. As Smith crosses and it's a bit defensive but still effective. Yeah, one of the best at bats of the game by either team. Not a bad jump out in center field. Just the ball gets right under his glove. Popped up by Morton. Kurtz calling for it. And there's the third out. One hit. Get on that strike. To short and Padilla. And there's your game winner for Utah. An 8 to 7 win for the Huskies as they advance to the winner's bracket of the College Park Regional.